Bonjour. Bonjour. Alors. <laughs> The double bonjour. <laughs> double bonjour, dear friends. You recognize this beautiful face. Voilà, voilà. I'm here. I'm back. I'm back with a masterpiece, who has been again ordered by my very close friend and then big art collector and artist also. Hey, making well, some special, well. special always touch in his wine and his painting. And we're working together tonight. So dear so. friends, oh, welcome oh. to JCB Live. I'm hijacked. My show is hijacked. <laughs> Now we're going, finally. <laughs> this is for you. Voila, this is Dear friend you. Stanislas <laughs> Koska. GCB, too much. Hello. The very famous, most talented, most amazing oh, surrealist. Trying to make me drunk before I finish my masterpiece. <laughs> That's so the only way to get a masterpiece. <laughs> get him drunk. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what are we thinking here? Well, what does it make you feel? Oh, it feel like I'm have the real bubble here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What what flavor do you feel? What uh, color you, do you see? You see, what I'm testing here, it's more like real good French champagne. It's really amazing, and the bubble is going the way. The like what? The bubble. The bubble. Yeah. The bubble. B -b -b the bubble. bubble. The bubble. The bubble. The bubble. Okay. You <laughs> thought I had an accent? <laughs> and finally. You know, it's amazing because you're feeling drinking some big champagne. It's really, really fantastic. But what makes you think that it's not big? Because have this kind of sweetness. Or just remember me, uh, Dom Perignon, mm -hmm. uh, Laurent Perrier, Perrier uh -huh. Jouet. You know, mm -hmm. this is great, great brands. And a nice, nice test. And I'm like it. Really, I'm like it. And I'm not even need to put some little cassis or some little juice. It's just going straight to my mouth. I'm but you're right. very pure. You like purity, don't you? Oh, I mix the color in my palate, ma'am. <laughs> I mix my champagne in my stomach. <laughs> hey, I want you to show us how you do. So, dear friends, Stanislas Koska, friends of over 30 years. Can you believe oh. we were little babies yes. when we got to know each other? And Stanislas has been one of the most incredible friends and painter of all time. Together, we've had so much fun in life. Oh my goodness, it's been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of stories to tell you. And one of them is a great question I want to ask to Stanislas, a big one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? We have another set. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to Splash. <laughs> What made you realize that you were yourself a surrealist? Oh. A surrealist. Now, surrealist has been uh, the whole my uh, past life because I've been lucky in my life to meet in person Salvador Dali and working with him, for him, sorry. And then learn so many things, you know, from the master in this old era, like uh, Dali coming uh, to the end of his life. And it's been spectacular time. And I'm seeing him, you know, uh, walking from his studio, who's been really amazing, and see the bunch of the art dealer waiting to see him. And Dali telling, oh, hi, George. Hey, what do you have for me today? And, and the and dealer said, oh, Maestro, I have 650,000 in cash for you. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> and you? Oh, I have 750. Oh, very good. And you have never seen you. Who are you? And the guy said, I'm George from New York, and I have $1 million in cash for you. Because in this time, it's end of the 70s, nobody walking with credit card and telephone in their hand. People coming with serious stuff, little you know, cash, and we're flying, no problem. What about and gold bars, same thing? No, I've never seen the gold bar. And that guy, you know, coming to the studio, Dali said, oh, OK, come over here. Dali make the contract for the painting and for lithograph. And then we, like we students, we have to painting, you know, 300, 200, you know, lithograph with color. And Dali passing his time and sign and sign the pieces. And after we have the certificate of the authenticity, we've been, you know, print and then uh, signed by master. It's a crazy job. But what made you? wanted as well to become. You're a realist, and we're going to see some of your art. 
which is much more realist. <laughs> and then what made you as well being attracted by surrealism? But it's, it's the way how I'm working, I'm being uh, working in classic art. And I have the first, uh, you know, education and, and the classes in the master classes. This means I'm being teach drawing, painting in classic way, no abstract, classic way. This means I can do with my brush anything what I want because I'm drawing first and then I'm making color or making all this idea happen. This has been most important thing. For some year we're doing just perspective bucket, cube, all this kind of stuff will teach us how we do the perspective, how we do the form. And then after you can do all kind of stuff because if you're doing the colon, you have to know how this colon looking in the space and you have to have the idea of the proportion. It's very important. This be the first most important thing of my life. Learn basic of the classic art, which is most important thing. And how did you depart? And I know you sign from the 17th century. Oh. <laughs> and why is that? At the bottom of every painting, Stanislas, and you're going to see it, signed from 1690. Yeah, right now we passed to 1700 because we, <laughs> in 2000, before in, in 1900, you know, I'm just signed 1600 because I believe I'm the person coming from old time, reincarnated person. And I feel like I'm being artist already before, and I'm doing this classic art because this is something who is really inside of me. And this magic, you see in my painting, and I'm being uh, very lucky in my life because I'm working with designer of the Queen Elizabeth for many years. I'm working for many very important person around of the planet. who has been always something spectacular because each one painting what I'm delivering to my clients is the path of my life. I'm passing months to do the detail, to, to make whole my idea. This painting is very surrealistic. We have all these pieces from the Dali painting, but this whole idea is new because I'm building completely new idea because Jean Charles wants something very special and loves Dali. And dear friends, I believe I was born as well as a surrealist in a way that it's the way you see the world is not the world how you see it at first glance. And it's a different perception of it. So let us explain you what happened. So you can all call Stanislas and get a painting and send him a sketch. We sketch together like we're going to do tonight because it's going to be very intense. We're going to work on two more pieces. I draw, he draw, I draw. By the end of the night and four bottles of wine I'm later. I'm doing the job. <laughs> he does the job. <laughs> and this is really what we did a year ago during this crazy pandemic. Luckily, Stanislas came over to the house and we spent a few oh, days. Over one year ago. We had I broke my arm last time. <laughs> so, <laughs> not the right arm, thank God. Oh, my goodness. So, as we're going to get closer now, I think what is so cool here is to see how Stanislas can explain you the painting and the vision we had from Wapo Hill, from the art of Napa Valley, and we're going to see him paint. So, dear friends, Voila. And we need more bubbles. Yes, very much, you know, my goodness. I'm Do you drink bubbles. wine when you paint? Oh, yeah, 21. My goodness, we should start with 69, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, it. it's only just you and I <laughs> after we start to imagining more characters. <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to do, Stanislas, as you start explaining oh. the painting, I've put in my leg the alchemy of dreams. Oh, so, yeah. dear friends, a series of painting were done over the last seven years. Yeah. And I don't want to say together because I only imagined them and drew the concepts and Stanislas does the job. And this, this concept, this idea coming through. And finally, we're drinking from my painting. You have my painting in the body and Jean Charles make the dream happen. It's spectacular. And let's go try right now my dream. I've never <laughs> had this wine before. It's really first time. It's very light. And it's it was smelling very airy you know it's more like a, for me it's like a, more like a 
Oh, you know what? It's like the wine from uh, uh, like Cote de Rhone, some light wine. But no, no, tell us like what the wine, wine makes you think in terms of art. Use artistic terms mm. to describe this Pinot Noir from Sonoma Coast. So this is a 2018 Sonoma Coast Pinot. Enormous success, dear friend. So thank you for loving it no, with this I painting. I want to tell you from the beginning. Yeah. I'm the big, big lover of the Pinot Noir, the Bourgogne. I love Bourgogne. This is the way we meet. And this is the way we're drinking in the basement of your winery. You know, many times we've been spectacular. But this wine, it's very, very light. And the bouquet is absolutely extraordinary. And dropping in an amazing way, you have this amazing tannin, which is like attack your nose, and I can tell you, very light wine. And, like, and you have a good nose. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you have a beautiful is, nose. This, this wine, Stadis, me, you have a like, gorgeous uh, nose. This is like, the, oh my God. <laughs> this is the wine. The, he has a Cyrano de Bergerac I'm can, nose. I'm can, uh, no, this much, this will be too much. <laughs> Is, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, but you have a good nose. Well, this this something, you know, I can tell you, growing with all these little delicate pieces of the meat, like pheasant, you know, and some uh, pentada, you know, this is something absolutely delicious. I love it. This is so, my wine with my painting, with something, I think so. All the senses. And the, in the, in the size of, the, of this quality piece, who just showing nose, ear, all this element of our sensual and very important touch. Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you smell, you feel. And this is make you happy. Happy to, to this crazy moment like you just explode in your mouth and you feel whole day after like in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> so. Would you say we are in paradise? Oh, we're in a little paradise. Look well, at this. before Look we go there, Stanislas, I want you to explain the world yeah. how you organize your palette. Because, dear oh. friends, I learn <laughs> often how to paint as a student of Stanislas, of course, but I love the organization of the palette. So it, it would be very fun for you Stanislas, to tell us how you do yours. For the moment, you know, here we in the end of the painting, it's a kind of messy, and this is kind of provisory, completely provisory palette what I'm just, uh, uh, you know, organized in the moment, like I'm coming here to the Raymond Winery, where I'm painting, you know, and finishing my job for Jean Charles, and I'm organized always from the light to the, to the dark, and I'm always making the way, like I can go very quickly, you know, to my uh, color, what I'm not removing is full of the color. Yeah. And then I'm always start here in the right size, I'm start with white color, yellow, and then I have always sepia in front of me because this is the color who I'm always using to make the drawing, make the dark shade, very important color in your painting. And then blue will give you kind of, you know, cold touch and then uh, finishing, you know, kind of contrast what you have in your painting, like you're doing leaf, and then making this kind of light opposition to the to the white, and then I'm have warm color like red here and burgundy with the color, you know, who making bright touch in your canvas. Green is always cold color in the top. With yellow, I'm going together, it's like you see, I'm have this kind of mess. Isn't it it's, gorgeous? And uh, let's go remove this little tube who's making, oop -a. But I got to tell you, I love the palette. And you see, this is something, you know, it's already like uh, pieces of the art I can frame. Many times, like uh, my uh, clients, my art collector, buying the painting, I'm giving my palette, I'm framing the palette. This one is messy palette. I'm have the good can I have here. your palette with your profile? Yeah, I can paint can, it. Can, yeah. can, we, can we look at Stanislas' <laughs> profile? Because I want both. So if I look at the palette, I want your charm. I have the few palettes in my house with my portrait in the palette. I and love I it. I can ship you some special touch, you know. Whoever palette, wants one, let this me is know. This will be really special, <laughs> special thing for you, you know. Voila. This is what I can tell you, you know. But this is so exciting because I don't know, dear friends, how many of you love to paint. I'm a big fan. I'm obviously at so many levels below Stanislas. I but love this, this Pinot Noir. I, I, 
Fantastic. Really yeah. fantastic. I love it. Thank you. So, Stanislas, why don't you walk what us kind of through? Magic you put inside. You know? Oh, it's like wow. you with the paintings. Wow. There's a lot of colors in wine. Wow. It's really so it. long on the palate, dear friends. It's a young wine. We're talking about a 20. No, but you know, 18. the bottle is looking very simple, you know. You not make too much decoration. Just my painting, and I love my painting. And this is one where, where I have so much fun to make. May, this wine, what we have inside of this bottle, for me, is really spectacular. I'm taking already at least five, six cases. Oh, you know? here we go, dear oh, friends. Yeah. Here goes the next painting. Oh, yeah. no, it's a is... big negotiation. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> Maybe we should make a totally different bottle. Maybe the bottle is too boring, too you classical. See, I'm, no, I'm just thinking, you know, we can make engraving my signature. Ha! Like people can see this is the cost. The beauty with picture. artists, there's never any Absolutely. egos. <laughs> <laughs> no ego. I think so. You forgot, my friend. <laughs> Something important. Who made this painting? <laughs> and then we can sign also Boisset. Can you believe? Already. Thirty years of friendship. <laughs> we speak like an old couple. So, Stanislas, ah. why don't you walk us through the ideas of this painting that we uh, imagined together a year ago? And here we are. So maybe oh, we see? start from the bottom. To the top. You see, this is the this is whole uh, story of the COVID-19, uh, and I'm have so much fun because in my house I'm have a bunch of the people you know from Europe who can't back anymore in Europe because everything being closed, and I'm working you know between dinner, lunch, and breakfast you know, and then making some special touch in this painting would be so much fun. And I'm taking a very long time to make this architectural, you know, uh, ceiling and its spirit because I'm looking, you know, to find some uh, something special to put in the middle. This is the idea coming, you know, from uh, Jean Charles, who love very much Dali, and I'm taking this ceiling, you know, who I'm changed a little bit from some painting of the Dali. And then, you know, which is changing all this idea around of this, this kind of you know, uh, blue and yellow. This has been love of this painting. Contrast of the blue is very cold. Like in the wine, you have to make this two spirit, you know, something will go to touch your palate and then something will go to put you down with the love for this wine. And it's exactly the same thing in the painting. And I love it. You see, yellow makes you like, wow, it's very warm, very nice. And blue is something who making like, cool down, you know, baby, and it's really amazing. <laughs> and this rose making half of this painting. And it was the symbol bijou yeah. of you. Oh, my this goodness. is a little bijou. bijou this is bijou. a little Gina. You're always the symbol rose. Symbol of the Gina, Mrs. Rose. And then here, in the end, I want to put somewhere Jean Charles, Mr. Green, somebody who plant, make grow something always special, making always, you know, this green life. Like we have here in Raymond, we have all this garden and it's veggie growing around. It's not just wine growing here, we have all life going here. And that's why we have all these butterflies flying here, you know, and coming alive from the painting was really, really amazing. I love it. And then right now, I'm coming down and Ooh, we're coming is, down. We, we so we gotta see. get closer here. So the you snail. See? This painting have the secret. The secret is the Mr. Green, which is here. Mr. Green, and right now, if you look very close, you see his body, and free always for raining. And then you have this man here, very humble with his head. It's like, oh, where is go to raining? Where is go to be my time to grow my wine? I love it. And then protect the nature with his eggs here. And, and the symbol of birth, of yeah. course, and evolution and transformation you know, and fertility. And water, it's here. Water is something like it's closed circle. Water coming from this spirit, green spirit, coming down in the rose and going in the, in the soil here. Where everything growing uh, in an amazing way. May the water just evaporate. It's a closed circle. This is like our life. We disappear and we're backing in another way is the circle of the life. This is all spirit in this painting. This is whole idea what we have with uh, Jean Charles in the beginning. Jean Charles come with this stuff 
and said, I want my house. I want this right city. here. And we have the house. We have the entrance to the house. And of course, we have the snail. Why? Snail is the two symbols. One symbol is the symbol of the Burgundy. And this is from where Jean Charles coming. <laughs> and hold this all this construction standing in the snail or oh, dropping this water with like reincarnation life, bring the water with him. And also you have to remember in all time in the Flemish art, snail being the symbol of the sex. Yeah. Very, very important. We don't mind that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then well uh, right now this one thing And we not finished, dear friend, we still oh working on it but it's look at the phenomenal vineyards that Stanislas as well as painting the two cypress which are always represented at every home we have with the tower on Wapo Hill and of course the wonderful frame and then we have the two profile here if you look very close we have the, oh, careful with the lights yeah we have these two profile here of the daughter of the Jean Charles you can tell. This is Honoré Josephine and the beautiful Grace Antoinette on the yeah, other you side. Bring back you the see other here, line. dear friends, how exciting it is. Because and then you, you have here the Jean Charles who are looking his daughter, you know, and pray for his reigning with his snail who is, who is always with him. This, this is going to be glued to him. Forever. And you could see the symbol of the ceiling is obviously the cosmos, the sky. Yeah, and so the ceiling symbolizes the sun and the rays and the energy from the telluric forces, the earth, all the way at 864,000 miles away, the sun and the power of the sun. And you see here, I um, include some number here around of this uh, sun. The number is a golden number of the classic painting, classic art, Palladio. The whole artist, you know, working with this number and the magic number of the cosmos. This means the time, the movement of the sun and the planet, and then uh, speed. How all this, uh, you know, cosmos going together, which always here. This is what making our life, making our food, and of course our wine. <laughs> <laughs> and why the skull? Oh. Stanislas walk. But us through. You see, this is your love, One of my you know. favorite love is the Jean skull. Jean Charles is a, a lover of the, you know, uh, Alexander McQueen, and then uh, making. Uh, and the Mexican historical idea that you take the and skull and it reminds you skull, of the spiritual I transformation. Want to make one, you know, real one. May I finally have some idea, glorious idea, to make something because Jean Charles have the chair of the Salvador Dali with its kind of back with the drops. And I said, why I have to make the scalp with its scary mouth and tooth? I'm going to make something more like different. And then I have this eye because this, we watching you always, you know, the spirit of the supervisor, you know, and then I make all this completely new idea in this painting. And I'm thinking right now we're good. Well, and the boat symbolized the discover of America, the Christopher Columbus, and then move, you know, because you move from Europe, you know, and I want to make something personal to bring you, you know, to America. And by the way, which is like today, almost in 4 July, this is why we have all this flag and it's why we have all this color. We have this blue and red and this American flag here and we have this little Frenchie here and voila, which is too happy. And by the way, Happy for July. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you will see this maybe uh, after this, of course. But you know, Stanislas cannot help it to wish you oh. a beautiful Independence Day. Now, Stanislas, I think we need to add a few things to this painting live with everyone. Why don't you add me some lips so we can discover that it is really me here? Of course. Of Why course don't we I try can. to do that? And I know we're going to zoom in. Voila, you see. Uh, Maybe here. Here, I'm going to make, uh, uh, tonight probably I'm going to work again. It's I'm about going to time. Make, I'm going to have some uh, personality here, sitting Jean Charles and Gina from the back and bunch of people watching all this 
story happen is going to be really spectacular. I'm going to make some little leaps here. Okay, so I'm going to go on the other side, Stanislas, and pour soon the next wine. Voila. But I want everybody to see you paint. Hello, voila. We go to make kind of happy face of the Jean Charles. I'm having this eye looking the girl both sides, and it's kind of sweary, you know, like the plant because. I want to make this look, you know, like very, uh, you know, innocent and <laughs> innocent. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I am. Woo, baby. Okay, let's go do it because I'll have these lights, you know, here. Up. And up. Ooh la la. We are live, dear friends. We're seeing the action of the master, the master of the 17th century. Voila, voila. Reincarnated to today, Stanislas Koska And himself. by the way, we go to make some crazy triptych with whole reincarnation of Jean Charles. Soon, this will be another crazy show with him. <laughs> <laughs> dear friends, this is going to be the best. So shall we make just one person out of those sleeves, just me? And uh, here we can make another leaf happy, you know. That's my twin brother. So describe us how you do lips. You center see, it on the you eye. Have to, you have to go with, uh, you see, top of the lips and the bottom, you see. You have to make right now a little touch. And then up. Give me some red. I like red lips. I'm not going to make too much red because it's got to be bizarre in this leaf, you know. I have to make like a little touch. Wow. Okay. And a little touch in the top. Voila. Such magic, dear friends. Did you see that? Three strokes? And here we are. Uh, all this with the classic music. It's oh, really, it's you know. fabulous. It's beautiful. But Stanislas, do you draw on the canvas as well before they oh, throw? Yeah. And draw directly in the canvas. But like uh, with a pen, like, with a pencil? This is with the pencil. You're drawing, you know, just like I want to show you. But with this pencil? You see, this pencil, this is exactly one. You see, it's like you're doing the little, like you have the branch here, I have the lights. Oh, it's behind me. But anyway, you draw, you know. And then you, you, you go with the color. And then we have to put little light color. What a world of patience. Have you ever, always seen the world in a different way, Stanislas? I see the world very peaceful, very quiet, mm. because at the moment like you're painting, you have this kind of different concentration. You just have to stop almost breathing, you know, like you're doing the touch, like you have to put the lights, you know. You and, hold your breath? Yeah, and then it's, it's, it's coming, you know, natural way. And then I have to bring some, because we have all this red here, you see, I have to bring the little red here. Magic, what a great highlight. What's your favorite color? Oh, the color, you know, my color is blue. I like a dark blue. I uh, like it light blue, and this is like here, you have this pink and, and blue. Yeah. This is a very powerful color yeah. who bring you the light. And color, it's uh, upon the moment where you walking with this color. This means if you're in the middle of the day, it's nice to have the like very bright pink, very bright color in you. At the end of the day, people see you better. And then, if you in the night, in the summertime, you're coming with the light pink, we see you also much better than, you know, with the small lights, 
then in middle of the of the day will you disappear and in full sun if you in a pink color may if you put white you coming the most important person of the of the show you have to think always color in the moment like you showing somewhere and you have winter of course and you have summer and then you play with color you have orange green right now i'm thinking so we're coming to the era when men go to dress with color finally we go to be freed from gray and black and green kind of stuff we go to be finally happy peroki <laughs> <Thank goodness. laughs> to happy parakeets <laughs> so stanislas as we drink this amazing pinot i would love for us to now go to your phenomenal classical style oh, this is, would be a great pleasure what's we open like new bottle for we all got to open a new bottle let's Woo. go let's go do it now next to the masters the masterpiece of the masters this is really dear friends what stanislas is the most well known for <laughs> are you looking your father but look he brought me a little gift <laughs> don't i look good <laughs> stanislas as we tasting a flamboyant wow. painting this is another the one. red blend. Look at this painting. Wasn't it amazing? Wow, the another one from living room. My goodness, I love it. This was another one of the most exciting painting, dear friends, <laughs> part of the alchemy of dreams. But we won't talk about this painting now. What do you think about this red blend? Mm, much more uh, smoother. It's, it's completely different uh, from, the, from the painting what we have before. It's really, really nice light wine for afternoon. I think we can make easy lunch wine and then uh, you not go to be hair. It's really smooth in your mouth and very easy going down in, in, in your body. And so you have a lot of things going easy down in your body. Like yeah, you that. know, like you have the kind of wine like this, you're feeling like, uh, okay, one more, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's really fun. And study says, where did you find that gift of yours to me, that beautiful oh, helmet? I'm just been in some big state cell in, in Florida, in Sarasota, and they have all this kind of collection of the helmets. And this one, you know, is uh, Austro-Hungarian. And this is from era, you know, of the Count Harashti, you know, from ah! 1850. So we're going to it's put really it at Buena Vista. Funny, really, really funny thing. And have the real uh, antique stand, you know, this is really something, you know, what we're not find anymore. Well, we're very excited. So now, dear friends, I'm going to sit down and let you spend time with the actual artist himself on one of the most incredible painting, Stanislas, <laughs> you've done. Uh, you see, uh, I'm having this kind of piece where I'm done in uh, uh, two years ago, just before the COVID. And this painting have already amazing story. I love this painting very much. Have some really, really uh, amazing detail. I love this piece. And it's just like one hairbrush job and lots of detail. If you see very close, you see all these little bugs and even little ants smoking cigarette here. The detail in the bird's nest was symbol of the life. And you have the, you know, uh, the, the birds flying around. And this is kind of spending where you can always come and see claws and some, uh, you go to find some new detail what you not see before because I'm past over a year and it's painting. And the framing is from a period of the time from Louis the 16. You see like I'm finished this painting. I'm showing this painting in St. Petersburg in some house of my uh, clients and my very close friend who showing this painting in his house for over two weeks and telling me like to go to buy this painting. Funny that like, I'm giving him the price. The guy have not even $5,000 to pay this stuff. And then I'm <laughs> taking this painting back with me. And this is, you know, kind of crazy stuff. This painting travel with me right now. I'm showing here. But Stanislas, tell me. us a little bit about the inspiration. Oh, you see, because my, uh, classic education what I'm have 
being done with flowers. Flowers is one of the most difficult objects in the painting because you have to show the light. You see, it's like the light touching this rose. This rose is like standing strong and is very fresh. And this is very difficult to make a rose, you know, and show moment of her life because you have the flowers which is open and have this strong feeling and the flowers will go to pass in one moment. This one is just like one moment, you know, from uh, dead, you know, because it's open to the, to the most important moment of her life. And you have these lights coming from the top to this kind of little yellow, very delicate lights in the petals of the flowers. You have to show this stuff. This, this is life, the detail, who making happy the person who looking and this is like my baby because in the moment that I'm selling this painting I'm lost over one year of the life with this with this painting. And how many paintings like this could you do at the same time? You see I'm doing always like four or five paintings continue always. I have one painting I'm doing for the last 20 years. Huge one. Finally I'm never going to finish this painting. I'm thinking I'm going to make this huge painting is over 60 by 78 and I'm going to turn this painting to the modern painting. But this is not a story for <laughs> the time. And you have here something amazing. You have the portrait of the Gina sister, little Mary, and also- Amy, I have, little Amy. Yeah, little Amy. And then you see, I'm going to show you a little photograph. This is what I'm received, just to show you. This is what I'm received like photograph of her Wow. Uh, to make the portrait. And this has been spectacular because this is only thing what I'm have and I'm have to do with this photo, this portrait. And she said, I'm like at the mountain. And then I'm said, okay, I'm going to make the, this body in the mountain. And I make all this story going, you know, and all the detail in the hair. It's like in my painting here, the bird's nest, I have to make one hair by hair and make this very smooth feeling. It would be spectacular. What a beautiful lady. I'm the, I'm the last one, you know, to do this kind of classic portrait like nobody doing anymore. And here you have this really special also, one very known wow. in England. And I'm known for the horses, like nobody doing anymore because the body of the horse is like a construction of the house. You have to know hold this muscle. So the I'm holding movement. the painting. Tell us how you build the body. But you see, you have to building the body from the lights, of course, to the shade. And then another thing very important, you hold the painting? Yeah, yeah. I am. You have to make the right proportion of the head. And then you have hold this ladder here, hold the detail, and then put the muscle like this head holding by the body. Mm. It's not just like leg and head. You have to show all this movement of the of the, our head. Horse have this kind of shining body what you see the muscle moving. And this is what you have to show like here in the painting was very difficult. There's many artists who are doing the horses making the neck of the horse too long with the leg too long with the head too small. You have to be, you know, in the right point. And I'm thinking right now to not, I'm not one to push, but I'm the one of the last guy who make horse painting in this Incredible. Area. What a beautiful. This is, you know. What a beautiful piece of This is the beauty of, of the beauty. Wow. So Stanislas, what's next? Oh, next? I know we're going to be doing a lot more arts. We have a lot of fun, but is there a dream you have that you haven't yet yeah, accomplished? I have something next for you. This is your surprise, and this is your gift. Ay, ay, ay. It's I'm about so, time I get a not, gift. You're not expecting the gift today because nobody talking about the gift. I'm finding something from the era of the country. Oh! This is the view of the San Francisco from 1846, which is one of the rare, and I'm thinking of street. Where are you here? Clay, your house. exactly. Clay and Jones right here. You're just here and look how empty we have this street in this time of the year. This is a special gift for you for tonight. After all this good bottle what we drink, 
I'm thinking you go to hold because I'm not taking any more with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to thank you immensely, oh, voilà. Stanislas, for your thoughtfulness, oh, your voilà. kindness, <laughs> your friendship. More importantly, dear friends, voilà. we wish you to have the same level of friendship as we do because we've drank vineyards and after vineyards oh. all our life and we've eaten a lot of paint and a lot of canvas <laughs> <laughs> oh la la and oh, a la. lot of fun i've said oh la 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 this is something guys happy for july and find your birthday we drink already a few for you and then you choose your <laughs> and we fine. cannot wait to be back <laughs> Stanislas it's not a crazy show in august in august okay have fun <laughs>